What's up, YouTube? Angry Jackalope, Rob Ricks. I am here, motherfuckers, to talk with you about some of the custom shit that I've been doing lately. Um, you might have seen, if you follow me on Facebook, you see a lot of this stuff. If you follow me on Instagram, you most definitely see a lot of this stuff. If you don't follow me on any of those, then some of this might be new to you. But um, I did do a video talking about Kanaloa before. And <clears throat> this one is a, is a very special blade for me. It's the uh, Topps Tebow. This is the ATS-34 model. There was only 36, I believe. Yeah, 36 of these made. I've got number 36. It has a uh, Kanaloa on the backside here. It has some custom scales that were done by Kerry Customs. Um, and if I shift it like this, you might be able to see the color shifting. You might not. I don't know. But the uh, carbon fiber in this thing shifts. The blue pattern actually shifts. There's a wide range of colors that um, you'll be able to see. Uh, this sheath was designed by C2G Fab. I added some other accents to it. I added these blue Chicago screws. I added in a little tiki guy. I added in this Bico jewelry, which was also Kanaloa. And recently, I started to get some of these beads to uh, really drive it home. It has like the color of the oceans, the sky. We have some lava stones in here, you know, and then there's like certain numbers of beads that represent Kanaloa. So, you know, there it is on the neck. Boom. So that's the Kanaloa. And what I'll do is I'll put it down here so I can show you guys it up close. We get in here. See if we can get the color to shift here for you so you can see the colors. I really need to get some more light in here, I think. But you should be able to see that shift there. The other thing, too, is the scales glow, the uh, paracord there glows. So there's a lot of different pieces that go on this neck knife here. Okay. And so, you know, that's, that's Kanaloa. Now, the, uh, the next knife that I did after Kanaloa was Pele. So again, this is a Topps Tebow. But this one is done by um, Red Hill, Red Hill Sheets, I think is the name. They're the ones that got the red color. Uh, again, we have some custom scales done by Kerry Customs. I have a, you know, a, a lanyard on here. It's got a little tiki guy. Okay. We have another C2G Fab uh, sheath. Again, following just like I did with Kanaloa, we've got some Bico jewelry. This one's got a little flame motif going on it. Uh, the actual sheath itself is kind of cool. It's got a little volcanic feel to it. And then, again, if we go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the beadwork and stuff like that, you know, we have a lot of lava stones. We have um, some other beads. I'll put the types of beads that's in here. I know there's some, uh, oh, I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to butcher it. I'll just put it right up here. Those are the stones that are on here. And basically, go ahead and put the knife back in. And then, when I wear it, that's how she looks. Right? I like the beads, too. It feels really good on the neck. They're nice and cool. Um, let me get in close to take a look at it. This one has some uh, tricked out stuff too with the uh, scales. There's a big fireball down in the bottom. Uh, it's got some red sparkle with black carbon fiber. So this is a very unique piece too. This one is numbered zero, which you can see just barely right, right up there at the top. There's a zero. And um, so there's some of the beads. You could see how that all flies together. Then I was playing with <clears throat> this system right here. Now this one is really special to me because 
It's a uh, Topps Ice. Andy Tran designed it. I took the uh, Topps straps, flipped it upside down, turned this into a neck knife, put a flashlight on there, put some Velcro, got some blue Chicago screws. I got a little light on here, uh, a few other things. And so basically when I put this guy on, that's the rig right there. Okay, and then on the back side I have a little space where I've got a little lighter. So that's another neck knife configuration I did. Now, all right, so let's go ahead and continue on the latest project. So this is Odin Blades, okay? Now the Odin Blades was a lot of fun because I discovered some things by accident. <clears throat> this is uh, some shred blades. I gotta wrap this guy a little better. Some shred blades. Basically, they are the SEHF 63B and the SEHF 53BS. So this is the 53BS and this is the uh, 63B. Okay. Now here's the cool thing. They both have the exact same sheath. So I could take one, stick it like this. I could take the other one, stick it the other direction. Okay. I could take them out, flip them around. They're totally interchangeable. And when I was looking at the patterning on this initially, I was like, you know what? These kind of remind me of like feathers or texturing or something. So I went and said, huh, you know what'd be cool is if we did something mythological from a different direction. So my daughter was working on uh, some, some stuff at school and she was doing um, Norse mythology. And so we were having conversations about that. And I said, oh yeah, I know that. I'm, I'm familiar with that. And so we started talking about Odin how he's had one eye and he was still seeing things through his ravens. And right when we were talking about that, this popped in my head. So again, I have beads, I have cat's eye, but then I also have wood. So the wood represents the tree of life. And then the cat's eye is uh, reflective of, you know, Odin's all seeing eye. And then let me get in close here for some of these other pieces. So then the other pieces that we have here <clears throat> is this piece right here from the Ukraine that I ordered and it's double sided. So you can see they have one set of uh, markings here and then we have Odin's triple triangle here and then um, memory and thought, the two ravens there. This is also a raven's head and I have that on there. And the way that I got that attached is I took some paracord, wound it through his head, melted it so that it created a little gap, a uh, little flatter piece there so it can't come off. I put some Chicago screws. And then I have some more pieces down here. So at the bottom, you could see there is uh, more of the thought and memory uh, ravens down there. And this is another custom... Uh, piece from the Ukraine that that you have to order and wait forever to have show up and so that just kind of completed the whole piece out so I've worked on this guy oh man I worked on on this piece for a couple of months so you could see it's really big and let me go ahead and put it on so you could see it so it's, there it is and these are actually backwards I actually prefer to have them this way and so I have two blades in here to represent the two ravens thought and memory or thought and mind and that's it I took off all of the original mounting spots that were down on the bottom here and I replaced them with Chicago screws and then I took double-sided uh, velcro 
and I wrapped them through to secure the two sheaths in place and that's how that all came together. So I have other projects coming down the pike, um, not necessarily neck knives. I have a, a big blade coming from Tops <clears throat> that's going to be Iron Fist themed. Um, I'm on an Iron Fist kick right now, so it'll be kind of cool to see how that all plays out. Um, I'm going to basically have a lot of the, the, um, the blade done differently and I'm going to get some etching on it. It already comes with green scales. I'm going to find somebody to do the, um, the Kydex for it uh, with the green and the yellow. And then uh, I'm going to do something kind of special and then I'm going to attach some prayer beads to it. And I think that's going to be a really, really, really cool uh, custom project. So this is one of the things that I do in my spare time. I like to make custom stuff so when I'm walking around, I'm carrying the blades on me. Um, you know, it, it's a conversational piece. You know, I have other neck knives that I carry with me too. Like I got this last Christmas and this one basically <clears throat> is a deployment for the Cold Steel Spartan. So uh, this one is just your plain Jane uh, Kydex but it's got a little trick thing to help you open it when you deploy it. Uh, I haven't quite figured that trick out yet, but I carry this guy too sometimes. And it's got a good lock up, doesn't go anywhere. Uh, again, after carrying the beads and stuff, this feels a little funky to me, just a cord. So I think I'm gonna do something with this. I'm gonna change the mounting on this, probably something more like a uh, regular lanyard, and uh, we'll go from there. But anyway, that's it. So I just wanted to share with you guys let you guys check out what I've been doing, what I've been working on uh, in my spare time. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. These have been my, my custom blades. All right, guys, until next time. Later.